welcome back to my channel. So I'm working on some DIYs over here on the floor. So while they're painting, yes, I'm filming. So while they're drying, I figured I would do my Dollar Tree haul video. So it's not very big. Um, I had went in twice uh, to get stuff for my sister because this is that's the DIY I'm making. And then I thought of like two more DIYs that I want to do. <laughs> So, um, last night I ran into Dollar General because what I need, I just keep going back to see if they're going to get them back in stock, which I don't think they are, but I did get a few items and I met one of my subscribers again. If you're watching, hey hun, um, she thought that I like didn't do videos anymore. And she asked me, she's like, I always watch you, and when I see something, I run out and go get it. Um, so hopefully you're watching this. So I ran into her at Dollar General, it was really cool. Uh, we usually run into each other at that store more than any other one. But I'll show you the Dollar General stuff at the very end. It's not very much stuff. Um, so we're gonna start with Dollar Tree. The kids went with me yesterday, I believe, or the day before to run in, and Shannon wanted fruit snacks. So these are the peanuts, Charlie Brown. It's already open. You get six in there. And then I've been wanting the frogs, so I picked up one more. I love these. Um, I didn't get any candy for my husband because I had picked him up some the time before that. And then I picked him up some um, at the 99 cent store. And then Shannon wanted a toy, so she got this little doll, which it's not in here, so I have a feeling it's in my car. And then it comes with the two tennis rackets. She did have this one before. Oh no, she had the one with the dolphin. Um, so now she has this one, but like I said, she took the doll out in the car, so I think it's in the car. And then Leland wanted this gun. He kept pointing to it. It says that it takes um, two AA batteries. Uh, so I have to do that but it's a warrior shooter pistol and it's supposed to make a sound every time you hit the trigger um, I'm sure they're gonna fight over this once I put batteries in it so I might have to pick up another one and then she also wanted a pig this was on not the same day a different day she picked up the pig um, to go with all her little animals and it's been really helping her with her Pronouncing the words right. I'll point to the animal and I say what is this and then she'll say it and then I'll say What sound does a pig make and then she says it and then also I've been seeing her She'll line up all her animals and she counts and she's been having a hard time counting and she can count from one to eight without missing a number now, so we're trying to work on one through ten um, her colors, so I'll ask her what color is a zebra, what two colors are on here, and she'll say white and black. So it's really helping her, and especially with her sounds and saying the words, so she wanted a pig to go with it. I picked up another one of these. They had a smaller one, and this one was the, this is like the biggest one that my store has had, and I've hauled one before, and I keep, it's perfect for goldfish. Um, especially cereals when they don't, when they're the small boxes, they fit perfectly in these. So I picked up another one and it fits 14.25 cups, uh, which is 114 fluid ounces. It says right here, it's the gray one. I love it. Nothing goes bad when I keep it in here or stale. So I picked up another one. I picked up some more command hooks. This one holds up to two pounds, and this is the one that I have on my front door because I tend to hang heavier signs on my front door. So I just used my last one, so I picked up another three pack, and then I picked up a four pack. And I use these um, for my pot holders, by my stove, and any other places that I need to hang up anything. So I picked up one more of each. I picked up this wet and wild small eyeshadow brush. I like using this um, for 
my nails when I'm painting them. It's perf It's the perfect shape and size to get around my toes when you get the edges instead of using a Q-tip because the Q-tip is round and it has cotton on it so it will leave cotton. So that's what I use this for and my daughter got a hold of one of them and ruined it so I wanted to replace it. I did take the plastic off of this because I was gonna do a DIY and I was like, oh, I'm gonna just show in my video. So um, this is the same one that I've hauled before. I'm not keeping it like this. I will show you guys a picture of what I'm doing because I don't know exactly how I wanna do it. I have it in my head, but I'm not sure. So I have two of these and it's not tall enough. So I had to pick up one more. And then another DIY. So I picked up this sign because I'm gonna use the back of it. And then I normally just put a piece of um, construction paper or whatever over it so that way I don't have to sand it um, but this this is the one that says friends gather here so I picked this up for a DIY and then I found this I didn't really want this calendar but I saw this one and so I'm doing a DIY I think I'm just gonna take that picture and just mod podge it on this so but there's a lot of really cute ones on here too um, be kind you matter keep on fighting shine bright in all you do you're enough you are loved so it's just a bunch of little sayings so i picked up that and then i picked up the baby shark calendar i looked for it the last time and they were completely out they only had care bears and pj masks but i wanted this one because i want to hang a few of them in the bathroom and frame them since the bathroom for the kids is nautical theme and then she can hang up a few around the, her room or she can take some to my in-laws but they even have a christmas one i thought that was so cute and thanksgiving and she's all about baby shark so and like the grandma and grandpa shark she can frame that and give it to my in-laws for grandparents day or something cute like that so um and i actually might use the calendar for her to t keep track of her days which day she has speech therapy and stuff like that so I picked up that one and then I needed some more of these letters because a lot of my DIYs I have to use multiple letters and so I have like a ton of the letters that I don't use of course but the ones that I do use they're all gone so I picked up two more because I don't know exactly what I'm doing with the DIY that I picked up this for um, and as you can see, this paper is coming off, so I'm probably just going to rip it off. Um, but I picked up some more of the poster stickers. You get 56. And then I found this really cute little pumpkin. I have one, and it just says, welcome to our pumpkin patch, I think. But this is really cute. It says, hello, fall inside. And then it has the blue truck with pumpkins all around it and the front of it says hello fall. So I'm just gonna set this next to my other one over by my shelf. I still haven't done my house tour because like I said, I'm in the middle of a DIY and I'm doing two more. So once I'm done with all my DIYs, then I will show you guys a house tour. Cause everything is laid out and I'm gonna add more stuff. So I'll just wait to do the house tour. Um, I did pick up another rug cause I'm gonna be doing a DIY with this one and so I picked up that and I went a little washi tape and ribbon crazy again I finally found these ribbons so I picked up this white one with the orange pumpkins this yellow one that looks like sunflowers it's so cute and then I picked up this one with the orange and then I picked up this plaid one. Thought that was really pretty. They're all different, so picked up four more ribbons. Um, and then the rest of this is just washi tapes, which I was really happy to find because my stores don't really get washi tapes that much. But I've been wanting this one and it has the gummy bears on it. And it matches the gummy bear stickers. So this one's for me. 
and this one. It has a waffle, a heart, a coffee cup. So I thought that was really cute. So these two are for me. And then Shannon really wanted this one. She, when I was looking at them, they were hanging on a strip. So she saw this one with the cats on it. So if I ever send my mom a card or my sister, or if she just wants to make something, she can always use a, stri a strip of this washi tape, but it has different cats on it. And I just, she thought that was really cute. And then I picked up this one that has a narwhal and uh, there's a donut on the nar narwhal's horn. There's a seal with an ice cream cone as if it's a horn. There's a rainbow. So there's that one. This one has different animals on it. There's a elephant, a tiger, a bunny, a bear, a panda, a lion. So it has different animals. So I got that one. And then this one is going to my bestie. It's okay if she sees it, um, but it has hedgehogs or a porcupine, I don't know. And there's like little mushrooms and clouds and stars. So I got that one for her, cause I know she likes hedgehogs and um, porcupines. And then this one I'm probably gonna keep for friend mail, but it has avocados. Um, there's like a drink, a taco, a skull. There's like a hot chili pepper right there. There's a pinata. So I might, I think I know who I want to give that one to. So was really excited to find those washi tapes and the ribbons. Um, like I said, it wasn't very big. I mainly went in to get the signs for my sister and I had already gotten into that stuff so I could start it. And then I picked up some more stuff for me for DIYs. So now I'm going to show you what I got at Dollar General last night. It's not very much stuff either, but I want to show you guys anyways. So I picked up both kids a new coloring book because a lot of theirs, like I've told you guys before, they just scribble all over the page. Um, and they're only a dollar. So I got them each a Paw Patrol one. So the girl one is for Shan Shannon. And then this one's for Leland. Cause I grabbed this one and then I grabbed him Mickey Mouse and I was like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna fight. So I'm just getting each one Paw Patrol. And then I got, these were on clearance. They were normally $2, which that's not bad for some stencils, and these are jumbo. Um, it shows you the letters, like that's, those are huge. So $2 from A to Z, that's not a bad price. And I got it for $1.50. Um, yeah, so it was only 50% off, or, 50 cents off, but still that's a really good deal, $1.50 for these, and I need these, so I picked those up. I picked up this top coat by LA Color Color Craze, and it's gel. Gel like shine, no UV needed, so I picked that up to add to my collection of top coats. I've been having a problem with the one from Dollar Tree that I got that's like super fast drying. If I use a dark color, it like turns the tips of my nails or my toes matte. And then the rest of it is like glossy. It's really weird. I bought two and they both do that. So I don't want to use that, that one anymore. So I'm going to use this one and see how well that one does. I love how fast it dries, but I didn't like how it was doing that to my nails. I thought that was really weird. I picked up this necklace cause it was also on clearance. Um, and I've seen it a few times, but I didn't want to pay for how much it was. Um, I think it was normally like $3.50 and I was, I mean that's not bad or like $4 for the necklace, but I was like, no, I'll just, I'll wait, I'll wait. I kept waiting. So I got it for $1.80 and the top coat was $2. But this is going into some friend mail. It's just a gold heart. I thought that was really pretty and it does extend. So it's not gonna be super short. So I picked up that for somebody. And then the last two things are Halloween. 
I found this cute little sign that I want to put on my coffee bar because I am going to be decorating for Halloween um, since I did decorate for fall. So it says my broomstick runs on coffee and it's just a little tiny box and it was only a dollar so I picked up that one. They had another one that talked about a witch also but I don't remember what it said and then I found this. I'm probably just going to take off the twine or the jute because they stapled it and you can see the staple so I'll probably just take that off and do a new one and hot glue it so that way you can't see the staple but you can see the staple right there and then there's two right here so this one was two dollars it does have a little stand so that way it can stand up and it says poison drink at your own risk and I really liked this so that's it for this really small Dollar Tree and Dollar General haul um, like I said I just had to go in to get some stuff for the DIYs I needed the stencils for that rug I'm not gonna film but I will show you guys a picture of it on my community tab I am in the middle of filming the DIY for my sister like I said so just bear with me it's a process because I have to let everything dry in between coats so and there's just a lot of editing that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna be doing a voiceover so you're not gonna see my actual face but you will see me doing stuff so um, it'll just be a lot easier that way so as soon as that one's done I have this and then I won't have anything until we go back to Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store and Walmart and my regular groceries and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.